Once upon a time, there was this ancient civilization. They made some neat statues and worshipped something called the Void. And that is all we know about the civilization. So I guess they then promptly died on the spot and we're never going to mention them ever again. Hundreds of years later, there is a land known as Hollow Nest. Well, not yet, but soon. There's a moth tribe who worships a moth, which is a bit egotistical. This moth was a god, I think. She was a benevolent god and everyone was happy. Also, everyone is a bug. That should have been something I said at the beginning. One day in the land of not yet Hollow Nest, there was a worm. It's about with a Y. A worm is... Well, I don't know. But personally, it's my theory that they're all idiots. For example, they have the ability of foresight and reincarnation. And despite that, all of them are dead in the game. How is that even possible? Anyway, this particular worm thought, Man, am I sure in the mood to establish a monarchy and denounce the god of this land. And then he did. Using his ambiguous magic abilities, he seals the Radiance into the dream world, which is a realm that contains a bug's dreams and aspirations. The Radiance was eventually forgotten, and everyone was still happy. So the worm declared himself as the Pale King. Then he constructed Hollow Nest, spelled with an A. And his reign was unanimously positive, if you ignore the Mantis Tribe, Moth Tribe, some of Green Path, and all of Deep Nest. He also married the White Lady, who was a tree. Early in his career, he built a glamorous city right under a lake, and because of that, it constantly rains. What a fucking idiot. Also, he built his castle below the city, and his castle is littered with buzzsaws. Why are you like this? I guarantee you none of your subjects can even traverse this. Anyway, he also found this place called the Abyss, and it contained this thing called the Void. He uses this Void in his morning coffee, and to create sentient life. Yes, the Void is alive, and should not be messed with. Luckily, the king can't read the warning labels. By the way, remember when I said how the Radiance was forgotten? Yeah, that was a lie. She wasn't really back in the flesh, but by using the Dream World, she latches onto a bug's memories and thoughts, and then controls them. She was also slightly pissed, so she wanted to destroy the kingdom from the inside. So how does the Pale King respond to this new threat? Well, Void can be used to create sentient life. However, these creations tend to lack emotion, or thought. So, if we had the Radiance sealed away in a bug without any dreams or thoughts, then the Radiance wouldn't be able to control that bug, and then effectively be trapped. I know what you're thinking, and yes, it doesn't make sense. The King and Queen had a child, and that child was made of Void. Yes, they were going to use their child as a vessel for Mothra. The child, however, wasn't actually Void of Emotion, so they threw him down into the Abyss and had another child. And then another. And then another and then another. Eventually the abyss floor was completely comprised of corpses, and none of them were truly hollow. This is the textbook definition of insanity. Eventually there was a vessel that was actually hollow. He was called the Hollow Knight, spelled with an O. The king closed off the abyss because, well I guess they didn't really need it anymore. Oh, and there was this other vessel who followed the two, but he probably won't be important. Anyway, the king sealed the radiance into the Hollow Knight. Again, it doesn't really make sense. The knight was then placed into the sealed temple. This would protect the knight and act as another prison for the moth. Then, the king wanted three particular bugs to sacrifice themselves to create three seals on the temple. The seals were created by placing the bugs into a permanent sleep, making them dreamers. Oh by the way, one of the bugs sacrificed was the Queen of Deep Nest. She was willing to do so under one condition. She wanted a child. The Pale King agreed and the queen was… completely okay with this. The child was named Hornet, and looks nothing like a hornet. The seals were placed, and the king went to take a long rest. Through their sacrifice, Hollow Nest lasted eternal. For five minutes. By the way, remember how I said the Pale King created a vessel that was void of thought and emotion? Yeah, that was also a lie. So the Radiance took control of the knight and then seeped out of the temple. Which means those sacrifices were completely pointless. The king woke up to the sound of his kingdom crumbling. He didn't really care anymore, and left. The king and his whole palace were never seen again. Meanwhile, the white lady decides to settle down in her own personal retreat, ignoring the dying world around her. And Hordit goes to Farloom, maybe. Many years later, this strange bug that looks like a vessel shows up to Hollow Nest. This guy is Zote and is amazing. Oh, and there's another vessel? This is the one you play as, this guy is called like the knight, but... That name sucks, so we're calling him Ghost. 
Ghost has to go around Hollow Nest and find a way to break the seal on the temple. Because the current Hollow Knight is a bit broken, he is here to replace him. Hornet thinks this whole plan is stupid and tries to kill you, but Ghost is very determined to finish his mission. He is either very noble or suicidal. Eventually, you reach the resting grounds and talk to the seer. She basically says how the Moth Tribe totally backstabbed their god to worship this dumbass. Honestly, the Radiance is the victim and did nothing wrong. And then the seer gives you a neat nail to kill those dreamers and break the seals, which Ghost does. So now Ghost can enter the temple. But first, he has to talk with the Hollow Nest rulers. The White Lady is just chilling and gives you half of a neat charm. The Pale King is... dead. Yeah, you find him on his throne and he's just dead. But you do get the other half of the charm. You now have the option to head to the Abyss, which has a bunch of shades. The charm becomes Devoid Heart and now you can actually fight Mothra. Or you could hang out with Dracula. I think you know which one has more precedence. You can also find this bug in the junk pit and refight every boss in the game. If you fight the Radiance here, you get a special ending, but good luck doing that. To get the regular ending, you head into the temple and fight the Hollow Knight. You can then enter the Knight's Dreams and fight the Radiance. With the assistance of the Shades, the Radiance is devoured by the Void, and Hornet goes to get lunch. And that is the end of Hollow Knight. Now we all wait for the sequel, Hollow Knight King of Cards.